Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome to my desktop. That is right my friends, today I've got a special video. It is a tutorial on how to install the Python pack onto your PC. That is right my friends, the good news is now that you can download, install and play the Python pack with me with the help of the Feed the Beast team and the Feed the Beast Legacy Launcher. I just want to say a massive thank you to the Feed the Beast team for adding the pack to the launcher first of all. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the tutorial. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is go onto our internet browser, okay? And then go to feed-the-beast.com. Now, for those of you guys who are lazy like me, you can also just go into the description of this video and look for the link there and just click on it and uh, here you are. So, here's where things get interesting because you are not, I'm going to stress and repeat that, not click this big red download button because what that is going to do instead guys is it is going to download and install the curse launcher okay not the feed the beast launcher the curse launcher and as you can see if we just go within this and type in python pack this is the uh, curse launcher by the way as you can see it does not appear so what you're going to want to do instead is below this red download button is a little white text line which as you can see says all download and then depending on which operating system you're on on Linux, Mac or Windows in my case and in probably many of your guys' cases we're going to be focusing on the Windows operating system. You're going to want to click on Legacy Windows. So here we go, let's click on Windows and all you're going to want to do is download the Feed the Beast Legacy Launcher wherever you want. So in my case what I've done is I've downloaded it to my desktop for the sake of, you know, ease of finding it. So yeah, I've already done that so let's just minimize this and then what we can do is launch the Feed the Beast Launcher. So as you can see it's just initializing and as you can see here we are so the first thing you're going to want to make sure is that you are logged into your minecraft account on the feed the beast launcher second of all what you're going to want to do is click on this tab up here the third party packs tab okay so as you can see in my case i've already got the python pack at the bottom here because i already installed it for testing purposes but in your guys's case it will not appear at the bottom of the list so in order for you guys to get the python pack to appear at the bottom of the list you are going to want to click on this button up here on the right hand side of the feed the beast launcher window it's called pack codes you click on it and then this little box comes up now, all you got to do is type in Python pack. It's not case sensitive. You can write it in however you want. So in my case, I might do it like that. And all you got to do is click add. And what it will do is it will start downloading and installing the Python pack. And it will also add it to the bottom of your list here. So in my case, here we are. We've got Python's 1.11.2 mod pack. You've got all the little sort of overview and the mods list right here. And then all you got to do to make it you know, go is just click launch. And what it will do, as you can see in the top corner here, is it will start downloading and installing the mods and the config files or anything that's associated with the Python pack. And while it's launching, I just want to give you a quick overview of what this pack is indeed about. It is basically a pack which has the primary purpose of enhancing the vanilla experience. It only adds mods that add you know, more reasons to explore or adventure or build or combat or anything like that. There are no mods that would give you otherwise overpowered stuff. Uh, there's no mods that are technical or magical or anything like that. Like I said, it is a pack which is uh, mainly for those of you guys who want an enhanced vanilla experience, rather like me. So, as you can see, it is now updating and initializing the Python pack and all will be good momentarily. Now, as well as showing you guys how to install a pack, I'm going to also show you guys how to configure the pack and also allocate more RAM should your RAM allocation be pretty low. So, here we go. The Python pack has now been installed and as you can see, 66 mods loaded and all is good. You could go ahead and get straight into it if you really wanted to but like I said I'm just going to show you real quick how to configure it and allocate more RAM to it so you've got smoother performance. So starting off with configuring the pack what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate to your feed the beast installation directory okay. Now correct me if I'm wrong but I do believe that the default feed the beast installation directory is going to be within your C drive root. So all you got to do is find your local disk C drive and then within it you should have a folder called FTB. Double click on that and then within it now appears the python pack so let's go into that and then into the minecraft folder within it and this is your minecraft instance for the python pack rather similar to your dot minecraft folder for 
or vanilla, you've got this one right here. So, starting off with how to configure the pack, if you want to go and, uh, I don't know, let's say, for example, you're feeling a bit masochistic and insane, and you want to increase the chances of a Blood Moon happening. As you can see, we've got a Blood Moon.cfg configuration file here. All you do is right-click on it, and then you can go ahead and edit it with a text editor. Now, the text editor I would highly recommend you guys download and use is Notepad++. It's completely free. There's no ads or anything like it on there it is a very very good program and it supports so many different types of text files and formats them correctly so as you can see here we go bloodmoon.cfg and uh, you would navigate to the line which says the chance of a blood moon occurring at the beginning of a night and you can see here it's got some information about what the numbers mean so in this case it's defaulted to a 1 in 20 chance or 0 0.05 or 5% chance if you really want to get mathematical so I don't know say you want to have it happen uh, I don't know, once every five nights or something, or have a one in five chance of it happening every night. All you do is increase it to 0 0.20, for example. But in my case, I'm going to keep it at 0 0.05, a one in 20 chance of it happening. Then all you do is save the file, quit out of it, launch the game again from the FTB launcher, and there you go, your updated config files are now in effect. So, the next thing you can do is within your mods folder, you can go ahead and add or remove mods should you wish. Uh, I should probably mention as well that the Optifine mod, due to the permissions the uh, creator of the Optifine mod put on there, uh, you can, well, I can't have the Optifine mod pre-installed on this pack. So what you're going to want to do is if you want to have Optifine inside the inside the pack is you've got Optifine.night here and then all you would do is click on downloads and then you would down the, download the recent version of Optifine for 1.11 and all you'd simply do is download it to this version very folder and it will be installed that's quite simply it that really is so there you go my friends that's how you configure the mod pack but now if you want to go ahead and allocate a little bit more ram is you're going to want to go into the feed the beast launcher click on options and you can see we've got this little slider right here now in my case i've got 64 gigs of ram but as a general rule of thumb if you want to have uh, you know pretty decently smooth performance with these packs is you're going to want to go ahead and allocate well, between a quarter and a half of your total computer's RAM. So in my case, I've allocated a quarter, 16 gigs of RAM, because it's quite a lot, you know. 16 gigs is quite a decent amount for a mod pack. And as you can see, we can just slide it around if we really want to. But in my case, like I said, 16 gigs is enough, and it will save it as you go along. So again, if we go into the pack, launch it, it will launch with 16 gigs of RAM allocated to the game. And what that will do is it will assist in making the pack run smoother, okay? So as you can see, it is now launching again. And uh, this time we'll be good to go in terms of creating a world. Uh, like I said, you know, configuring the pack is completely optional. You don't have to do that at all. If you don't want to, you can just get straight into it and do whatever you want so yeah here we go launching the pack again and yeah we'll be we'll be good to go in terms of you know creating a world and uh, you know starting our python pack experience for those of you guys who don't know i do have a let's play on the python pack going out at the time of me recording this there is five episodes for you guys to go ahead and catch up on so if you want to go ahead and check that out do of course do so but uh, yeah here we go let's create ourselves a world let's call it i don't know uh python pack and then away we go. It defaults to the biomes of plenty world type as well. So you don't even have to click that and uh, do a bunch of clicking to get to the to the world type you really want. But there is also the realistic world type from the uh, from the quark mod should you wish to do that instead. But as you can see, it is now generating a new world. And this is going to be where we embark on our journey through the Python pack, my friends. So... Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did or you found it useful, do be sure to drop a like rating and share this video with your friends who may be interested in, uh, in, in you know, packs like this on Minecraft. And do be sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on my future Minecraft content. Uh, you know, least of all my... Uh, my, my new Python pack series. If you don't want to miss out on that, then again, subscribe button is there for a reason. But boy, oh boy, is this taking a while. It's something to consider when, uh, you know, playing this pack. It does take a little bit for the worlds to generate. But here we are. It should be any second now. There we go. Oh, here we go. What have we got? Oh, wow. Holy. Look at that. It's an Alps biome. Wow. That's crazy. Look at that. 
That's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh man, that's that's really really cool. But anyways guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do hope you you guys enjoy playing this pack alongside me. If you have any questions or you need some support, leave it in the comments area below and I will do my best to get back to you guys. But yeah, that's just about going to do it. Thanks for watching folks. I'll see you guys later.